Hello everyone, this is Taka from BigHeadTalk.com and welcome to Inside My Vehicular. I am in Strathcona, which is just outside of Chinatown, and I thought I would do a vlogging test using the Fujifilm X-T30. And on it, I have the 10 24 f4, which is, to me, the perfect lens uh, for Fujifilm, for vlogging, for now. And I also have the Mic ST1, and the reason why I like that microphone, it's made by Fujifilm, is because uh, stock, it has a 2.5 millimeter uh, input jack, and that's what the X-T30 has. And already right now, I can tell you uh, one reason why, well, first of all, I like the weight of the X-T30, but uh, it finally has a tally light, which is the, the light in the front that tells me the camera is recording. So although I can't see myself, uh, I did do a quick framing test, uh, so I know that the framing is right for this scene. Uh, the light tells me that, you know, let's just say the card stops writing for whatever reason and the battery dies. It's nice to know that it's recording. So that tally light, thank you so much Fujifilm, off in the Chinatown to have some lunch and have some meetings. So let's start my vlogging day now. All right, this, this is horrible vlogging weather. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing this. I have an umbrella covering the camera, which, you know, for those that take photos when it rains or video when it rains, I just say use an umbrella. It's just, it's the most efficient way to, you don't need a weather sealed lens or a weather sealed body. I, I, for me, weather sealing is good for like dust and moisture control. So if you're in a humid climate or someone that's really dusty, I think that the having a weather resistant WR on the body lens is fantastic. For terrain, it's not too humid. Uh, umbrella, I'm doing good. All right, there's a big hole in the sidewalk here. It goes 15, 20 feet down, and these fine gentlemen make sure that I don't die. So thank you so much. And people, people, chore number one is to grab some, is to grab some lunch, and I'm going to what I affectionately call my second office, which is Maxim's. Let's just. Uh, in here and what I, what I do want to see as well is the transition from outdoor to indoor and let's just see how well it handles the white tungsten white balance is usually horrible it it doesn't do a very good job and again I'm happy to see the tally light I know that it's still recording so let's uh, just find myself a seat and then we'll we'll see how it goes let's, hello let's sit. oh there's a here, over there. I'll sit over there. Okay. Okay. Alright, my food came. I have my milk tea. I have my greasy but yummy noodles. And, and I have this camera here. So before I start eating, um, I would. Oh, I just. The strap went into my noodles. Uh, this camera here is the Fujifilm G. A 645ZI is a medium format point and shoot basically with a zoom lens and I hope that Fujifilm one day will make a, a, a GFX version a GFX version of that camera alright thank you bye 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 alright uh, as I was mentioning this is like the restaurant upstairs and then like the bakery is like just kind of like down down in behind me here so I'm out into the rain, and I just looked at the transition between outside and inside. X-T3, you did a pretty darn good job. I'm proud of you. And the lens is way too wide. Let me just, uh, here we go. Um, for, for the settings, I actually, I do shoot at 24 frames per second, and if I'm doing some kind of a sequence where I want to slow it down, I will bump it up to 60 frames per second. Um, and uh, I have it around, with this lens, I have it around the 12 to 14 millimeter, depends. And I find that that's just perfect. Warm it up, Chris, come on! So we're trying to run, but they came around like this. All right, guys, now I'm at the shop, Vancouver, TJ's place. Super cool guy, always super cool people here. Um, how's it going, Vancouver. TJ? Well, look at that <laughs> distance from here to here. So I'm off to my third meeting. I forgot the amount of meetings I have, but uh, I am off. Take care, guys. Have fun. Bye. All right. And now we're going to see the transition from indoor to outdoor. And umbrellas. And ready to rock the Casbah. This is uh, where um, 
Arthur Chang's mural is, just off of Columbia and Pender with his Chinatown mural. And, and people sort of like vandalized. Look at that. Someone took a hammer and started hammering the mural, which is horrible. I don't know why anyone would do that. Uh, I've been testing, I've been looking at the footage of the XT30 and the 10 and 24, and I don't know, I mean, you guys tell me what you think. Uh, stabilization is still not the best. I think maybe it's still 2.5 uh, stops of stabilization. Uh, with the XH1 stabilization, you're getting 4, 4.5, except for this lens, because there's not much room in the lens there in terms of the uh, image circle. So uh, hopefully they can improve this lens because it's my favorite vlogging lens. And um, yeah, but I think so far, so good. It's a light body, the X-T30. And I think that's one of the big advantages this has over the X-T3 for those of you that want to vlog. I'm like five minutes late, hopefully. Oh, there, there he is. Can you, can you see him through the glass? Well, we, you'll see him in a second. You'll see him in a second. All right. I don't think he's ever appeared on my YouTube channel, but he has appeared on my IG feed at least how many times? Maybe two or three times. Really? Only two or three times? Two or three times? I apologize. Maybe more? But he was the yeah. first he was the first G. The first Janakis that I've met. This is Chris. How's it going guys? Actually, Take, I think the first time we formally met was at uh, Matchstick, just a couple blocks down, and my bag has changed it changed drastically since then so well we should do a what's in what's in my bag a proper video but what, what we're here to talk about <laughs> collabs so I'm gonna have to stop this now because this is business talk but anyways um, thanks for talking Chris thanks for talking can, can I close it you can close it boom how am I framed right now you gonna go a little bit higher in fact, yeah, like right you here. always go a bit higher and actually in fact and then look aim, down aim down yeah, yeah. you get rid of the uh, the yeah the, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. the like the uh... right so now I'm at 12 and this close are you going to take a picture of the video or are you going to do a video of <laughs> video, me video, video recording? All right, so this is, I'm just teaching Chris a little bit about, uh, not teaching, explaining to him my workflow using the 10 to 24 Fujifilm and how when you shoot at about a 12 millimeter or I guess it works out to be a 18 millimeter equivalent, you can get about a foot to the, to the front element and you could talk in a reasonable voice in a coffee shop and look, not look insane. And how's, how's the framing and how's my distance? I mean, obviously my face is distorted because I'm really close. Yeah, it's but, pretty close, but, but it's, it's decent. It's decent. Yeah. And then when I pull out like this, yeah. right, then you get a decent amount of, uh, oh, there, thank you. Yeah. You get a decent <laughs> amount of the, the, the background, right? Yeah. Then as you kind of move, and I actually like moving because it adds a little bit of a, uh, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not it's, yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not, you're not just standing still. Some people say they feel dizzy when people, when vloggers do this, but I think. No, it looks cool. It, it, it looks cool. It's not, it doesn't look like a talking headpiece on a tripod or anything like that. Hey guys, so I'm gonna end my vlogging test here uh, at my office here at Maxim's. Had a good time. It's hard to see how well this vlog worked out, but white balance is not bad. Usually in tungsten lighting or mixed lighting, it tends to be too orange. You can even see like really seasoned vloggers, maybe they don't do any white balance after, but uh, maybe I actually do that now. So let me just, this is what it looks like in here right now. And then let's try to do the white balance and see what the difference is, all right? All right, so I just did white balance off the ceiling. And it doesn't necessarily mean, so the ceiling should be whitish. But it doesn't mean it's white in this corner. The wall, walls are all kind of yellow. That's like the actual color. But the lighting in here is in general kind of orangey. So I'm not sure if this is better or worse. But uh, this is like manual white balance. If I spent more time, I could... Like I had a white sheet of paper or something like that. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna now switch back to auto white balance. Okay, so let's just switch back. Actually, I decided to just keep it in the manual white balance. It actually does look better, doesn't it? Then the other one's a little bit too orangey. Uh, just so you know, while I was out and about, I was actually testing the Fujifilm GA645ZI. It's a film uh, medium for my camera. I want Fujifilm to create a X100 version of this in digital media format. So Fujifilm, if you're watching, hopefully you can make something like this. And this is actually uh, sent up from California. My friend's down at the dark room in San Clemente, California. And uh, yeah, having fun reviewing that as well as reviewing the vlogging testing. And here comes my stuff. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look at that. Mm. All right. But I'm just having a snack here. But this gives you a good idea what the X 
T30 can do as a vlogging camera and I'm pretty impressed with it in terms of size and weight and then I'll see later on uh, when I edit through this how well the autofocus works. But I think autofocus on the X-T3 is fantastic and I'm sure it's going to be the same on the X-T30 but with improved algorithms on the X-T30 so eye focus, eye control should be really good. And so if you are a vlogger and you need a light compact camera. Now this doesn't have a front facing articulating screen and I've mentioned this in the past. If you are serious about vlogging and you want to kind of up your vlogging game, it's nice to have a front facing uh, articulating screen. The biggest weakness of that is that you get used to looking. And I noticed even some good vloggers or some, some YouTube channels that are based or built on vlogging, they're constantly looking off to the monitor and you can catch them. Without a screen like that, if you can trust the focus and you've done a pre-shot to make sure that you know the distance between you and the lens is good and the background is good, um, it's nice not having the screen there so that you could just focus on looking straight. With the tally light, I know that the, the camera is recording and I've already checked framing. I did the manual white balance here because I'm gonna be in here for a little bit as I enjoy my food and uh, play around with my other review gear. Uh, so that's kind of my advice is that, you know, I think you can trust the autofocus on this. You can trust the framing, trust yourself. Uh, but having a front articulating screen that was on the X-T100 would be a nice addition to a camera like this. But even when I had the G5X, the G7X, or any of the cameras that had the front articulating screen, once I did my framing, I usually flipped it back so I wouldn't be tempted to look into the screen too often. And I could really focus on looking straight into the lens, which I'm doing that now. End of day, back in my car, ready to go home to Camera Girl. I removed the shotgun microphone and maybe this will give you a good idea from the beginning and then to the end how important it is to have one because I'm inside my car and there isn't too much ambient noise to bother you. Uh, you could probably, it's, you could put up with it. It's not horrible but it's really important to have external audio especially when you vlog and so that's a tip and that's it. Over and out. Alright, decided to put the external microphone on anyways. Just as a comparison so you can hear the difference between using the onboard microphone and an external microphone. Again, this isn't the best situation because there isn't a lot of ambient noise inside my vehicle, but if I was out and about walking, uh, it's really important to have one. So that's a, a great, uh, you know, if you're gonna vlog, make sure that the camera you have has an external microphone. If not, then most of your vlogging is indoors. If you like are reviewing inside of a car or inside of an airplane, you're always indoors it's all right. But if you're going outdoors, it's really great. It's probably the number one accessory you can get for vlogging is an external microphone. So uh, that's it. Now I'm ready, done, back in my car, ready to go home to Camera Girl and enjoy my Friday night. So thanks for watching guys and we'll talk to you soon. Happy shooting.